Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Got another package in today. As you can see, this is the Hamilton Beach brand rice cooker. All right, well, here we go. Went ahead and grabbed everything out of the box here. And uh, as you can see, there's a few parts. Uh, first thing I'd like to note, um, I went ahead on Amazon, checked some of these out. Uh, one on one for some of the stuff I was doing. Uh, it, boiling the rice and everything has been a little bit hit or miss sometimes for me, so I wanted something that would do it right. Uh, they had uh, two top ones in this price range. This is around the $30 mark. The Hamilton Beach here, and then there was another one. The other one did have quite a few other uh, uh, purchases compared to this one. This one still had hundreds of purchases though. And uh, they were both ranked relatively close to each other within uh, a few points of each other in the star rating. But uh, this one, I like the fact that uh, some of the things that it came with, uh, part of it being uh, some of these pieces versus what the other one came with. So uh, the variation on them was just a little bit. And this one, I think it gave me some more versatility than the other one did. Now, of course, we've got the main unit here. And as you can see, it's just a, uh, a round steamer. Uh, on the front here, you can see we have a little LCD screen. We have five buttons here. One of them is the basically the on button and it does say warm. So that basically keeps it warmed uh, as you uh, want to serve it. If you want to keep it warm while you're serving and everything. Uh, then there is one for white rice. There's one for whole grain. There's one for hot cereal. And then there's one that just says steam. And then it does say uh, hour and minutes here on the side with a couple little LEDs that light up. And that will of course tell you how long everything is going to be cooking. Uh, now, if you press the button right here, that does open it up and you can see there inside, uh, just a very basic kind of thing. It's very similar to a, uh, basically a crock pot or a slow cooker. Uh, you do have a uh, steam vent right here. And on the back, it has a little uh, drip catcher. And it's just a little tiny uh, kind of formed cup type thing. And uh, it will help to catch the steam, uh, especially like when you go to open it, it wants to pour off the lid and down the back. Uh, I'm sure that's probably what that's there for is to kind of help eliminate the water runoff on the machine itself. Uh, now, of course, the few things that it comes with here, it comes with, of course, the main cooking uh, dish or whatever you want to call it here. Uh, it does uh, have some uh, measurements. You can see it here on the outside, but it's meant to be read from the inside here. And it goes up to 0.8 liters. Uh, it, it's set for four cups. Uh, now the four cups will equal out to uh, eight cups of cooked rice uh, when it's done. So uh, there's basically the size there. Uh, it does say max on the opposite side, which is basically the max fill height. You have your rice spatula, and uh, it's just a simple uh, plastic one. Uh, it's you know reasonable and usable. I would I would say you know it's not it's not a nice bamboo one or anything like that, but I'm sure it would definitely do you in terms of uh, serving and uh, whatever else. And then you've got your little uh, kind of steamer tray right here. Uh, that's the kind of thing that uh, really put it to me buying this one. So uh, anyhow, yeah, we put the, uh, the main piece in and then we take and we can uh, put the little steamer tray or the rinse tray in on top. So first use for this could be for steaming and you can sit there, you could have your uh, rice steaming in the bottom and then you can take your rinse tray or your steamer tray and put it in here and you can throw in um, some some vegetables or whatever and this this should hold like uh, this looks like it would easily hold a full like 16 ounce so that that made it really nice I like the fact that you could do that the other thing is is this does have obviously very small holes it has slats in the side or slits I should say in the side and it has very small holes on the bottom and the reason I like that is because generally you rinse rice before you cook it and so uh, you can take and put your rice in here you can rinse it all out then you can dump it into your main pan put whatever it is that you might want to cook uh, on top there and you have the whole thing it closes up 
put your time in and kind of a set it and forget it kind of thing. All right, everybody, so we're here. I've got uh, some rice in the cooker here that I'm gonna be making. It's plugged in. So all we're gonna do is hit the power button here. And then we've got all these little selections. We've got white rice, whole grain, hot cereal, and steam. Uh, we're cooking white rice right now, so we'll click on that. It says that it's gonna be 45 minutes. And then uh, make sure our lid's closed there. And then uh, once that 45 minutes is done, it will actually keep it warm uh, for up to an hour. Okay, so we're back. It uh, just finished. It literally just hit zero here. And uh, if we let it sit for a little while, yeah, here it says warm. Uh, so now it'll go into the warming stage. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look inside. Ooh, very steamy. As you can see, there is the rice all fluffed and cooked up right now. If you guys want to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Of course, I will have a link down there for the uh, Amazon site where you can get this. And uh, we also have our social media down there. Go ahead and check that out on your way down or on your way back up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and make sure you ring that little bell so you get notified when we got new videos coming out. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me, another episode of our Amazon review series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.